me, Anna. Just kidding. It's me, Miss Michaela. Don't you love my dress? I'm going to read a story to you today. It's Olaf and the Three Polar Bears. Hello, it's Olaf, your favorite snowman. You're just in time to hear about that day I made some new friends who may have just been a dream, but wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Do you want to hear a story from the beginning? You do? Well, once upon a time, I was walking in the woods with my two friends, Anna and Elsa, doing what I love most, smelling the flowers. What do you love to do with the flowers? Uh-uh. Before I knew it, the two of them had wandered off. They were probably lost and alone somewhere in the woods. It's a good thing they had me to find them. I called out their names, Anna, Elsa, but all I heard was my own echo. Just when I was about to turn back, I found a cottage. It was the most adorable little house I'd ever seen. Maybe I could meet some new friends. Who would help me find my old friends? I knocked on the front door and it swung open. Hello, I called. Is anyone home? But nobody answered. I guess maybe whoever lives here went out for a walk too, I said. I bet they even met up with Anna and Elsa. This is perfect. I'll just make myself comfortable and wait for them to come home. While I was waiting, I smelled something really good. Went to explore in the kitchen. I found three bowls of porridge on the table. The biggest bowl smelled fishy to me. The middle-sized bowl smelled a little too much like carrot, which is good for noses, but not for porridge. Ugh. But the little bowl smelled the best, like summer and all things wonderful, with just a hint of cinnamon. Mmm, which one do you like? Hmm. Me too. Smelling is one of my favorite things to do. What do you use to smell? Oh, your nose. Did you know that flowers, berries, even porridge, and that little bowl smelled amazing. But when I picked it up, ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh, that was the weirdest sneeze. I sneezed the bowl right out of my hands and it shattered on the floor. Uh oh, I'll have to ask my new friends to make this one for me again. Wait, speaking of friends, what was taking mine so long anyway? Since they weren't back yet, I grabbed my nose and continued exploring the cottage. There were three chairs in the living room, a big chair, a medium chair, and a little chair. I had a good idea of who my friends were. One would give big hugs, one would give medium hugs, and the last one would probably give little hugs. I tried to get into the big chair, but it was a little too tall for me. I managed to get on the medium chair, but it had too many cushions, so I plopped myself down in the little chair. It rocked just the right amount. Ah. But I rocked too hard, whoops! All this waiting was getting exhausting. I needed to find a place to rest until my new friends came back with Anna and Elsa. Uh, what happened to the chair? Oh, it broke. That's okay. I kept walking around the little cottage and soon I found the bedroom. There were even three beds to choose from. I tried each one, of course. The big bed smelled like fish, just like the bowl of porridge. 
Oh. The medium bed was covered in fur. It felt like cuddling up with Sven, which is nice for snuggles, but not for a nap. I got under the blanket in the littlest bed, and it was so cozy. It felt like a big hug from my friends. I thought about how nice it would be to find them again and maybe go for a nice walk in the woods. It does sound nice. I was thinking about my old friends and waiting on my new friends to come home. I decided to rest my eyes for a minute. But while I was resting my eyes, my new friends came back. What are his new friends? Let's find out. As they made their way through the cottage, I'm sure they were happy to find new friends had come. How do you think they feel? I think they're kind of confused. Maybe a little upset. They came upstairs to find me, a cute, sweet, innocent little snowman, snuggled under the covers in their bedroom. I was so happy my new friends weren't just any new friends. They were new friends who loved the snow as much as I did. Because they were polar bears. How silly. I jumped out of bed and ran so fast my legs could barely keep up. That's when I ran into Anna and Elsa. Maybe Elsa could make some snow for us all to play in. Polar bears and snowmen love playing in the snow. Did you know that? Where were you, Olaf? Elsa cried. We've been looking everywhere. You'll never believe it, I told them. I found a little cottage and it had yummy porridge and a comfy chair and a snuggly bed. And I met some new friends and they were polar bears. How do you think Olaf feels right now? Excited? And happy? How do you feel when you meet new friends? Me too. Anna laughed. Sounds like you had a dream, Olaf, she said. Elsa <laughs> smiled too. I think Anna's right. Could it have been a dream? It had all seemed so real. The porridge, the bed. But then again, you know what I said? It probably was a dream. That sure would explain a lot. As we headed back to the castle, I shook my head. Silly Olaf. There was never a cottage with any polar bears after all. Or was there? <laughs>